What's up everybody, we are Don and Ashley from No Plans That Travel and in this week's episode, we bring you to Abu Dhabi. Capital Center, the business district of Abu Dhabi, has the Abu Dhabi National Exhibition Center. So we stay at the Sheraton in the heart of the city and our room had the best view of the city and the beach in the background. During our tour of the city, we passed by Yaz Island and it's known as one of the top tourism projects in Abu Dhabi. Warner Brothers World, the world's largest indoor theme park, features characters from Warner Brothers, Looney Tunes, DC Comics, Hanna-Barbera, Dynamite Gulch, Cartoon Junction, and Bedrock. There are six themed lands, Gotham City, Metropolis, Cartoon Junction, Bedrock, Dynamite Gulch, Warner Brothers Plaza, meant to mimic the Hollywood of the past. The theme park has 29 rides, including two roller coasters. Some of our favorites were Batman, Night Flight, The Riddler, Revolution, Justice League, War, Worlds, Attacks, Green Lantern, Galactic Odyssey, and the Flintstones Bedrock River Adventure. But this would be a theme park, the food was incredible. I had the Cajun seafood pasta, and she had the filet mignon. It was also a great choice of mocktails as well. Now our trip to the Warner Brothers World theme park would not be complete if we didn't give you a tour around this wonderful facility. Although I have to advise you cameras were not encouraged, but we just couldn't let this day go by without letting you see some of the beautiful displays of cartoons that some of us grew up watching and grown to love. I tried the Flintstone roller coaster and this thing packed a punch. For it to be an indoor roller coaster, it didn't hold back any other twists and turns. So if you're a thrill seeker or a roller coaster lover, you'll enjoy this. So after the theme park, we drove to a neighborhood known as the Caniche, which is located in the city center. And this is a great place for shopping, with shopping malls and souvenir shops. There's also a lot of local places to eat that really embrace the Arab culture. Also, here's a tip. If you're staying for a long period of time, you just don't want to spend money every night eating out. There are a lot of grocery stores in the area to help you save money. Next morning, we gave ourselves an early start, met with our tour guide to see all the city's attractions. You can find a link to Oceaneer Tours in the description column. And here we are at the Grand Mosque, completed on December 20th, 2007, with a capacity of 41,000 people. 
This is the largest mosque in the country. Constructed with marble imported from the countries of North Macedonia, Italy, India, and China. The mosque has a total of 82 domes of seven different sizes. This place is truly one of the most beautiful buildings in the world. I thought it was nice that most tour companies did allow time for photos to be taken in some of the most popular areas. Here we are at the palace, also known as the Palace of the Nation, which is the presidential palace of the UAE, located here in Abu Dhabi. Completed in 2017 and opened to the public in 2019, it's named one of the top 20 landmarks of art and culture in the world, the main cultural tourist attraction here in the Middle East. The dome is located on top of the central chamber known as the Great Hall. The Eastern Wing has the House of Knowledge where a number of artifacts and objects of importance are stored. The Western Wing has halls which are used for official purposes. There is also a room known as the Spirit of Collaboration where meetings of the UAE Cabinet and Federal Supreme Court Council would be hosted. Banquets for official events are also held here and there's also space for diplomatic gifts from other countries. I do recommend if this is a stop on your travel journey, you have at least two hours to spend here to make sure you get to see all of its beauty. building itself now from your right side and to the left side is Grand Hayat and Babul Kasar. Bab mean door and Kasar mean palace. Literal meaning is door to the palace. It means door to the Emirates Palace. 
Next up was the observation deck at 300. The highest vantage point in Abu Dhabi with spectacular views of the city skyline, the Cornish and Arabian Gulf. Located on the 74th floor in Tower 2 of the Ethiopian Towers, the tower also has numerous restaurants and bars with food from Lebanon, Latin America, Tokyo, and Tuscany. Tickets will run you about 95 AED per person. The ticket includes a credit voucher of 55 AED, redeemable on the day of your visit for food and beverages. Also, here's a tip here for all visitors. Make sure you come early. As the day goes on, the crowds only get larger. Our tour guide was only able to give each of us 30 minutes at the top as more crowds waited downstairs. And here we are at Yaz Bay Waterfront, offering night entertainment with over 20 restaurants and visitors, bars, a floating beach club, and a concert arena. And for our last night at Abu Dhabi, we had dinner at Siam Brasserie. It's a signature restaurant at the Hyatt Hotel. And while you're enjoying your dinner, you can enjoy a 360 view in the entire city. The restaurant specializes in dishes from the French and Arab regions. Our choice for the night was the whole Canadian lobster. As always, thank you everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For our travel apparel and accessories, make sure to visit our website at www.noplanstravel.com. See you all next time.